Tablets were first introduced to bridge the gap between laptops and smartphones. The tablet market was once very densely populated. However, now only a handful players are left, among which Apple and Samsung are the top players. Today in this video, I'm going to review the iPad 9th generation which I've been using for over 9 months. I'll explain why iPad according to me is one of the best tablets that you can get for under 30k and I'll also tell you some of its cons so that you can make an informed decision. Hey there, my name is Adil and let's get started. So let's start with the build quality of the iPad. The iPad 9th generation is completely made out of unibody metal. It's fairly slim tablet, it gives you the reassuring feel when you hold it and it's very well constructed. The front has a 10.2 inch display and the back has a 8 megapixel camera, your Apple logo and the iPad branding. It's a good looking iPad, on the top you get your headphone jack which is a very rare sight in Apple products. Then you get your microphone and your power button as well. On the bottom you get your two stereo speakers, the lightning port. Towards the right you get your volume rockers and uh, the front you get your home button. This also doubles up as a fingerprint scanner as well which is really fast. You get some huge bezels on the front of the iPad which is actually good to hold on to the iPad. And on the bottom you get your light like 3 pin connector which is also used to connect to your keyboard accessories and other accessories which uh, I don't think many people will use it but yeah the iPad is very well built and I'm sure you will definitely like it. You also get a charger in the box which is also a rare sight for Apple products so that's a good thing. Now let's move on to the operating system of the iPad. Apple uses specifically designed operating system for its iPad called as iPad OS. Unlike Android tablets where you get to use the same OS which is designed for phones, iPad is currently running 16.1 and uh, since it's specifically designed for the tablets, you get the user interface, the refinement and everything, which will definitely be better than using a blown out version of a phone. And Apple provides five years of updates. And uh, currently this device has already got two updates, which is uh, iOS 15 and 16. And you can expect three more updates from Apple. Now, in Android R tablets, you hardly get one year of updates and phones, you can expect two years of updates. but in the situation of updates, you are definitely covered for five years in case of Apple. And regarding the App Store, uh, there's a misconception among users that Apple in Apple, most of the applications are paid, but that's not the case. Uh, if you can see, let me just open the free app section. And uh, most of the apps which you can find free for in Android, those all applications are also free in iPad and uh, iOS, any other iPhones as well. So you don't have to worry about that one. This feature is something which is covered. You do get paid apps as well, but those are as well paid in Android anyways. So yeah, covered in this case. And these applications are specifically designed for tablets, at least most of them. So you again, you don't get just blown out version of the phone apps. You do get specifically designed applications which are made to run on iPads. So you can use the complete huge, large real estate of the iPads. So WhatsApp is not basically natively not available on iPads. You just have to rely on your WhatsApp web. But apart from that, almost all your useful applications are available as you can see. Now, uh, let me just scroll through the interface and you can see it's really smooth guys. And uh, you get your day to day applications. Everything is there and the iPad is really smooth, right? I just open a few apps here. As you can see, the app opening and closing time is really fluid. It's just a 3 GB RAM, but see the fluidity with which this opens. It's really beautiful. As you can see, I'm quickly tapping on it and it's opening very fluidly. So this is something which you'll expect throughout the operating system. It's really fluid, unlike Android tablets, uh, which are not that smooth to say the least. But in iPads, you can complete smooth interface all over. And the apps as well, as you can see, if I move the widget around, how beautifully they rearrange. You also get a bunch of widgets. Let me show you the widgets. You get a huge collection of widgets for every application, as you can see here. So whenever I tap on any application, all the relevant widgets will show up. And widget interface is something which is designed for since iOS 15 and iOS 16 has even improved this one. So this is something a really good feature, I feel. Now let me show you an example of how a well-designed application looks. As you can see, if I open Wink Music app, all the songs are towards the right and your music player is towards the left. So that's how a well-designed app is. Uh, also, let me show you a measure app. It's one of really useful app in the iPad. And uh, let me bring some object in front of it. 
So if I want to measure the dimensions of this laptop, I'll just bring it toward the pointer towards the corner. I'll tap it and I'll just drag it towards the corner. As you can see, it's so easy to measure the dimensions. And you can also use it to measure the dimensions of a room or any place. And if it's a small object as well, if you just tap on it, it will measure all the dimensions act automatically and even take a picture as well for this one. So it's a really useful app for, I guess, most of the people it will be useful who are into real estate and stuff. So the operating system is really smooth, guys. I've been using this tablet for almost 10 months and I'm really happy with this. You can see the kind of fluidity it has when I rotate the tablet as well, the fluid animations and all. You'll definitely fall in love with these animations, which are like not that great in android tablets i would say and there are a few refinements as well as you can see as soon as i turn on the light mode the complete wallpaper changes and let me turn on the dark mode see the wallpaper changes so these are few refinements that you get in ipad os or basically i can say ios so this is something which is really good you will definitely love using this i'm not going too deep into the operating system that maybe we can do it for a separate video now let's move on to the audio quality test and let me open one of my videos from my channel so that there is no copyright so yeah you can see the audio for yourself now let's keep it, let's keep it in complete brightness so yeah let's as per your choice you get this do not disturb mode if you are connected to your phone and you don't want any notifications you can enable do not disturb you won't get any notifications similarly there is a battery saver uh, let me play some music now so you will get a better idea about the quality of speakers So I hope you got a fair idea about the audio quality of the tablet and it's fairly good. The speakers are on the bottom but if they were on the opposite sides it would have been even better. However for your daily media consumption and stuff it is really good. Let's move on to the display quality now. So the display of iPad is 10.2 inches and its resolution is 1080p. So it's a full HD display and it's really good. There is one thing that you will have to know, the display and the top touch panel is not fused together unlike the modern tablets or phones. So it's a kind of a bad thing, there is a minute gap in this which you will rarely notice but in case the tablet display is damaged, the repair will be really cheap because you only have to change the touch and not the internal display. Now let me show you a PDF notes and this is something you don't have to purchase actually, you can download the PDF and you will be able to access in the Apple Books app. You can see the text is really crisp and uh, the scrolling and everything is really smooth. Uh, it, you'll love reading PDFs and ebooks on this one. So this is a good thing. Now let me show you a video sample as well. And you'll get a fair idea. I'll try to play a 4K video and you can see it will run absolutely flawlessly with no issues. And the color reproduction and everything is on point. Uh, I think the video resolution is a bit low. Let me just increase the resolution. Yeah, there you go. So it's in the maximum resolution, the picture reproduction, the color reproduction, everything is on point. And you can just see in all angles as well, it's properly visible. I'll just tilt the tablet, you can see the viewing angles are absolutely good. You won't have any issues watching videos on this one. So you're covered in that way and it's a, it's a really good tablet for media consumption. So there are two bezels towards the sides of the tablet which some people might have an issue but as per me it provides a good place to hold on to the tablet and avoid accidental touches. And again it spoils down to your personal choice and so you can decide accordingly. Now let's move on to the performance of the tablet. The iPad runs on Apple A13 Bionic chipset and it's the same chipset that you see on Apple iPhone 11 and it's a beast in terms of performance and uh, it has 3 gigs of RAM. And the battery capacity is 8600 mAh. So on a heavy usage as well, you can easily expect two days of battery life over here. And I have opened the iMovie application here. This is free provided, freely provided by Apple. And it's a fairly good application. As you can see, if I scroll through the timeline, it's scrolling really smooth. 
and i have edited most of my videos on this ipad as well so if you're looking to buy an ipad for specifically video editing and media consumption then you don't have to look further ipads are the best when it comes to video editing you get very good performance and the export time as well it's really less so definitely you can consider this ipad for editing purposes and overall as well you won't have any issues in terms of performance now let's move on to my camera review so the ipad has 8 megapixel camera it's a decent camera i wouldn't say it's a great camera but i don't think any people will use the back camera of the ipad most of the people will be using the front camera so this is a sample from the back camera of the ipad you can just for yourself as for me the quality is decent not that great uh, this is the sample image that i have taken now let me move on to the front camera which is the main attraction it's got 12 megapixel of front camera so this is a camera sample from the front camera of the ipad uh, it's not that great but uh, it's doable for your channel office calls and uh, video meetings and the audio sample is also being captured from the ipad itself so you can judge for yourself how's the audio sample now let me switch to the wide angle camera which is the main attraction of this this is a sample from the wide angle mode of the same camera i'm sitting in the exactly same position but you can see the kind of difference the wide angle camera makes the field of view is 122 degrees and you're able to see my complete body and the surroundings as well so that's how good the wide angle camera is and this is one of the best features of the ipad this is a demo of center stage feature on the ipad what this feature basically does is it makes sure you're always in the center of the frame as you can see if i move around the room as well the camera makes sure that i'm always in the center of the frame it's a really good feature and trust me this is only being done with the wide angle camera of the ipad it will be really useful for someone who takes online classes or someone who makes youtube videos or maybe anyone who has group video calls so it's a great feature and as for me it's one of the best features of the ipad in conclusion i would say if you are looking for a tablet under 30000 with great build quality good performance and great software support then definitely you can purchase this tablet and uh, if you are someone who is bothered with those bezels then definitely stay away from this one you can purchase this tablet for under 25 to 26k in amazon sales i'll leave the link in the description and if you have any questions on the video then definitely do leave your comments i'll make sure i'm answering all the comments and if you like the video do like share and subscribe it'll really motivate me to make more videos thank you so much for watching